everyone, and welcome to the daily newspaper analysis, which is brought to you by Law Seco. Today, we did not have any specific editorial that was important for our exam. So we'll be moving forward with the news update and legal news for the day. The first one today we have is uh, Uttar Pradesh's uh, second elephant reserve. So the Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has given its nod that it has given its permission to set up Tirai Elephant Reserve in Lakhimpur Khiri district of Uttar Pradesh. The proposal uh, for it was drafted by Dudhwa Tiger Reserve authorities in April this year and forwarded to the Union Ministry. So you know that uh, these are the two uh, tiger reserves. Uh, the tiger reserve is Dudhwa Tiger Reserve and we have the uh, elephant reserve that will be the Tarai Elephant Reserve. Secondly, first inhalable vaccine against COVID. So this is going to be a relief definitely for those who are scared of needles. So authorities in Shanghai have started administering an inhalable vaccine against COVID-19. Apparently the first one in the world, uh, uh, it has been reported so by the Associated Press. The vaccine is being offered for free as a booster dose for previously vaccinated people, according to an, un an announcement on an official city social media account, the report has said recently. Thirdly, Elon Musk, we all know who Elon Musk is, has finally now acquired Twitter. So the world's richest man, Elon Musk, has closed his blockbuster purchase of the social media service, thrusting Twitter into a new era. So Elon Musk closed uh, his $44 billion deal to buy the social media service. Uh, and uh, the Twitter, Twitter executives also said that including the chief executive and chief financial officer have been, have, uh, will be getting fired. So fourthly, new charge the affairs of a US at New Delhi. So Biden administration has now named a senior US diplomat who had worked on NATO's role in Europe vis-a-vis Russia as the US Assistant Secretary of State for Europe and Eurasia as the next charge the affairs ad interim, that is for the time being, in New Delhi until a full-time ambassador is sent to India for a permanent thing. Elizabeth Jones, who is 74 in age, is the sixth interim U.S. envoy in the 21st, 21 months since January 2021, and uh, who has uh, been asked to step in for the job, which is considered as a placeholder until a full-time ambassador is confirmed by the U.S. Congress. Let's see what do we have for legal updates today. Firstly, minor Muslim girls' marriage is invalid as POXO overrides personal laws. This is a great judgment that has come up uh, through the Karnataka High Court. So while dealing with the bail application of the bail plea of a man who married a minor Muslim girl, the Karnataka High Court recently rejected the argument that a minor Muslim girl's marriage upon attaining puberty, that is 15 years of age, will not contravene the prohibition of Child Marriage Act 2006. So basically, there is here a clear contradiction between the Muslim personal law, which says that the the, um, age of marriage, it actually says that the girl is uh, mature enough and major enough to get ma married after the age of 15. But we all know that according to the Prohibition of Child Marriage Act, the minimum age earlier was 18, but now it has been increased to an age. If you know that what is now the age of, uh, you know, the marriageable age for women, let me know in the comment section below. This was held in the case of Aleem Pasha versus State and another. Secondly, the Supreme Court issues guidelines on disposing cases through plea bargaining, compounding of offenses, and probation of offenders act. So recently, the Supreme Court, in an order, has uh, passed, uh, has given various guidelines for disposal of criminal cases by resorting to the triple method of plea bargaining, compounding of offenses, under the Pro Probation of Offenders Act 1958. Uh, I would like to mention here that for the detailed analysis of these guidelines, uh, as they were very huge and bulky, please refer to our weekly case notes that we provide to you every week to all the students uh, that are there in our uh, courses. So please go through the weekly case notes. You will find this case discussed in detail over there. Also, do not forget to take the daily quiz. That will be a revision quiz to this newspaper analysis that we uh, take every day daily at 8 a.m. through a Google form. All those who are not uh, the uh, intricate students of Law Seco, you can uh, avail this link of the quiz from our Telegram channel, the link to which is over here. Also, the other students can avail the link through WhatsApp. You all know about that. If you wish to download the PDF of today's slides, you can join our Telegram channel. The link is there in the description box below and here is the QR code as well. Thank you so much.